Jakob, what a great opportunity to visit you here, Akuma Europe in Dusseldorf. Now, I'm really pleased I've grabbed hold of you because automation is your background within the company, but this Maltus is a great selling machine in the UK and I, I would imagine worldwide, but your automation is not outside of the machine, it's inside. Tell us a little bit about the background of this machine. Yes, uh, hello Mark, uh, thank you for joining our open house in uh, Krefeld, Okuma Open House. So this is uh, the brand new automation for our Maltus B250, which is a multitasking machine and as you said, it's a uh, yeah, very strong selling machine for Okuma in the multitasking segment. So our aim was to do uh, automation in a quite uh, easy way for the operator. So the idea was to integrate the robot inside the machine, which is a complete new idea on the market. And it has uh, different positive aspects for the, for the production in the end of the day. So as you can see over here, the robot can handle the work pieces. He has a stocker in front of the machine can uh, handle the chef part, can handle also in this case uh, the shack parts. And uh, the, the nice thing about this robot integration is that we automatically have some uh, end effector changer in the machine. So the robot can also change in some mixed blasting uh, end effector which can support the cutting. So the coolant and the air is directly going where the chip is. When, when you look at the machine, uh, what, the, the advantage of the machine, now I see a lot of automation that, uh, and robots are outside the machine I, and I suppose they're quite uh, idle for a number of uh, hours for instance, they're not being used but it's being, when, when the robot is not being used it just falls away effectively. Is that something that has been developed by Akuma? Um, you mean that everything is integrated and uh, the robot can also take some uh, other tasks that is normally uh, not the task of the uh, robot, like cleaning uh, the, the whole area, the robot can clean the area, the uh, robot can change in some other end effector, like a steady rest end effector, so which then in the end supports the workpiece in case there's chatter, so there's uh, different uh, ideas uh, what to do with the robot uh, when uh, it's not loading and unloading and this is only possible due to integration into the working area. So, And, and I, think, I think that's interesting actually is, is because this is the first time I've actually seen a robot in a machine tool. Um, in, from a Malta's point of view, great selling machine. But what I also want to ask you is that uh, software is key to any machine. How do you avoid collision? Yes, uh, this uh, armroid is always uh, delivered with an uh, anti-collision system. It's uh, Okuma special software, which is all available on all machines. So it is a software that automatically checks for collision. And this robot is connected with this software. And so, first of all, the setup of the robot is very easy. You just uh, store the gripping position, you store the, the clamping position. And then all the way the robot is moving is calculated with the collision avoidance system. So the virtual machine checks the whole way of the robot for not getting into collision. So everybody can basically operate this kind of automation. And, and finally, from uh, your background within automation in Akuma, do you think that the style of machine that you've got here with the robot on, do you think that you'll be using this type of uh, integration with some of the other machines that you sell at Akuma? Uh, definitely, yes. We uh, have this uh, robot available for Maltus B250 now. We have it available for LB3000 machine, which is simple turning machine, so lace machine, where it's quite useful. And uh, in future, it will hopefully also come uh, for other machine models like the Maltus U machine, which is uh, then the bigger multitasking machine. Well, it's been a pleasure, Jakob. Thank you very much for your time, and I'm sure this is going to be a winner. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.